Welcome to the 2020 National Science Teaching Association Awards. The NSTA Awards Program is made possible by the generous support of many sponsors who provide the funding and resources necessary to make this program a success. The Shell Science Teaching Award is supported by Shell, demonstrating their commitment to develop science literate students entering the STEM workforce with a greater skill set through exemplary science teaching. This year's national winner is Martha McLeod. Do you remember back in September you planted seeds? Do you remember what vegetables we planted? Beets and carrots. Carrots, carrots. turnips, what carrots, else? Beets. 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 Well, they've had time to mature and now it's time to harvest those vegetables. Um, I would love for each of you to find one ripe vegetable that we can wash up the sink then, and then we will uh, cut that up later and harvest it with our classmates, all right? All right, can y'all find me some ripe vegetables? It's not delicious. <laughs> it's not Here's an interesting fact. Do you guys know how ferns reproduce? How? Does anybody know how, what they use? Instead of using seeds, they use these things called spores. Okay? So it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll see if I can find a, a leaf with spores. These are two different types of ferns. And you see in the back of the fern? You see those brown dots? Those are spores. And this is how a fern reproduces, which is very interesting. We're gonna actually do a little bit more research inside when we go in. You'll see a poster in the classroom about spores, but we have actual examples right here of that, which is kind of cool, I think. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. I want everyone sitting up straight, chairs pushed in, eyes, Washing, ears, listening. I have looked at your models and they look amazing. You guys have great ideas for this. Now comes the creating stage. So now comes the really, really fun part, right? You get to see your ideas come to fruition, which is beautiful. So, a few norms. What are our shared norms for the creating stage? Number one, I want everyone to make sure they have their lab coats on to protect your clothing. Slate. Work with others. So we are a collaborative team. Everyone gets to participate. So facilitators, your job is extremely important in this stage because what is your job? My facilitators, what do you need to do? Slay. Make sure everybody gets a chance to do a part. Make sure everyone gets a chance to do a part. So if you are a facilitator and you see someone that maybe hasn't gotten to do anything, say, hey, and now it's your turn. Let's let so-and-so have a turn. This award recognizes outstanding middle and high school programs for their exemplary approaches to science lab instruction utilizing limited school and laboratory resources. This year's grand prize winner is Amber Taylor.
The Shell Science Lab Regional Challenge Competition is supported by Shell, demonstrating their commitment to provide science teachers the necessary resources for innovative lab experiences and to increase students' interest in pursuing science-related careers. Carolina is proud to provide science supplies and lab equipment to the deserving finalists. We applaud your service as educators and your commitment to advancing science, encouraging innovation, and inspiring students. Congratulations to our grand prize winners, Brooke Love, Chelsea Clement, and Pamela Baker. an experiment to test how well your structure stands up under the stress of an earthquake. Your test must last one minute when you test your model. So this is kind of similar to what engineers do. So today at Lightning Point, we're doing a plant salvage project. We have a part of the site where we're actually taking down an old dredge berm and in that area creating tidal creeks. But before we get in there and do that construction, we want to go in and salvage as many plants as we can. So we have students from Alma Bryant High School coming out to help collect seeds, take cuttings, and actually dig up some of these plants to grow out in their greenhouses for us to plant again next spring when we're ready to actually rehab this site. I think it's wonderful that we're trying here to save the ecosystem. After they're going to bulldoze it, we're going to grow it at the school. And then we're just going to come back here and replant it. So by harvesting the local plants, growing them up, and then replanting them after they finish construction work in the spring, we're putting back the same genetic makeup of plant back there that was there to begin with. And there's some research that shows that that makes these restoration projects more successful in the long run. The Shell Urban Science Educators Development Award supports outstanding diverse educators pursuing professional development in NSTA and serves to increase the talent pool of minority educators in an urban setting to meet the education workforce and STEM leadership challenges of the future. 